Yo, what's going on YouTube? What is going on fellow puzzlers? It is time for another puzzle video. Uh, shout out again to the, the Jigsaw Puzzle Group on Facebook. You guys have been awesome on uh, helping me to choose which puzzle to do next. Uh, today's collection comes from an artist that I found on Etsy. Uh, her name is Har Holly Carden. Holly Carden, and she goes by, uh, if you want to look her up on Instagram, Holly underscore the, T-H-E, underscore red. So Holly, H-O-L-L-Y, underscore T-H-E, underscore red. Um, thank you, Holly, for sending these out to me. I know it's been quite some time since you sent these out to me. I do apologize for the delay in doing these puzzles, uh, but I am doing it. Um, and even just the posts that I've made so far in the Jigsaw Puzzle group, uh, has gotten a great response. So I hope you are getting some um, purchases out of it. Um, I greatly appreciate you sending them. Um, it was pretty close on which ones you guys wanted me to do, but I think in the end you cho chose the uh, Edgar Allan Poe uh, Macabre Mansion, I believe. Or, yeah, Macabre Mansion. And then the other one was H.H. H. Holmes Murder Castle. So, uh, and then I discovered that apparently Holly, since uh, sending these to me, has done a third puzzle so I need to um, look into getting that third one um, don't send it to me Holly I'm gonna buy it since you sent me these two I appreciate you sending these out um, so with that being said let's see actually before we get into before we get into this I just wanted to read this was uh, originally packaged up like really cool it was wrapped in some I think I think it was like a black tissue paper um, had this little insert in there uh, talking about the two puzzles uh, and it looks like there is also some sort of uh, little game, like a board game too. Um, and then a thing here that you can color. But what was really cool is this super thick cardboard here. She wrote a uh, personal message here and it says, sorry, this took a while to get out to you. Thanks for taking the time to do a review. Let me know if you have any questions, heart Holly. And she put some little, some little dinosaur stickers on there. <laughs> so. Uh, now I guess it's 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 me that's taking long to get the puzzle done um, But ultimately we're gonna get it done regardless. So let's go ahead and Check this out everything about this already looks super nice. The the box looks great. The back has a cool little uh, Emblem on here. I'm guessing it's part of her logo um, And let's see Let's see what's inside the box Wow, super nice. Even the box is lined in black. This is lined in black. You know, it's usually just like cheap looking plain cardboard in the inside of the boxes. We've got a poster, which I always love having the posters. Super helpful. And let's see what we've got here on the back. It looks like the black back, and I'm not gonna read through this whole thing. If you pick up this puzzle, you'll be able to look through it. Um, but it's numbered uh, each of the rooms, um, and it looks like each of those is uh, the illustration of that particular room and from the stories. So, yeah, awesome. Um, at a quick glance, it does not look like there is a lot of puzzle dust in here. Let's see the actual pieces. This is a 1,000 piece puzzle. All right, let me get this out of the way. Nice thick pieces here. The uh, surface feels, feels kind of similar to that one I did from completing the puzzle, that like kind of velvet finish, or it might be the uh, denim finish that was on the um, Cobble Hill. I'm not sure which, but it's, it's kind of an, it's a nice finish. You can actually feel kind of like a texture on there. Um, which will probably be helpful from a glare uh, from my lights. So 
variety of different shapes of pieces. Sorry, I'm separating some of these out already as I go. Uh, I always love when there's a variety of shapes. I don't like it when it's just a couple of uh, individual shapes. And actually, I got a question for you guys. Uh, and this comes um, as inspiration of something I saw in that jigsaw puzzle group. Somebody had taken a piece like this and they labeled out everything they called for each one. And I think actually they had it like this. And this was like the shoulder. This was the foot, an arm. I think it was a bulb. I don't remember what these two were. But do y'all call these anything? For me, I always kind of refer to this as like a, a, a spade, like a spade shape on a deck of cards. But, um, and then, you know, ins and outs is kind of what I call them. So curious to see what you guys call them. Let me set these things aside and get my trays out. Since this is a 1000 piece puzzle, um, I'm probably going to use about four trays and I already kind of set aside the, uh, the brighter, more colorful ones because this puzzle is fairly dark. Uh, and so all those dark pieces, I want them to pop off the colors here. And then, um, it might actually prove a little challenging for me too, because my tabletop here is black. The reverse side of this board is white, but it doesn't, it, it's kind of messed up looking. So I didn't want to uh, use that, but it probably would have been helpful if it was not messed up. So I'm going to stop rambling <laughs> and go ahead and get straight into separating these pieces out and getting the puzzle started.
down to the last couple of pieces on this puzzle. So this puzzle was uh, a little more difficult than some of the ones I've done recently. Actually, I'll go into all that in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this top down shot. I think it's got it in there. Right there. All right. So Edgar Allan Poe's macabre, man uh, macabre mansion from um, the Etsy shop uh, and artist Holly Carden. So Holly, thanks again for sending this to me. I will put the uh, link in the description to find this puzzle from her. Um, and this was part of a three-part series. I also have the second puzzle, uh, which was H.H. Holmes' um, Murder Castle, I think is what it was. Um, the finish on the puzzle pieces here is super nice, man. It's like, a, I guess it would be similar to that one I did from the, the company completing the puzzle um, where they said it had like a velvet finish. That's kind of how this one finish, uh, feels. Uh, only because of my light and nothing to do with this actual puzzle, but there were quite a few times that it was kind of difficult for me to kind of see where I was kind of putting these pieces. That was a point where I went to the flip side uh, and was doing the puzzle from the top. And I only did that because I just needed to be able to see better because of the way the glare was hitting. Um, very detailed drawings, uh, very nice quality drawings. Um, and it's cool, you know, you can see it on the box and you can see on the poster all the little different murder scenes and everything. Uh, in the not murder scenes but death scenes or what uh scenes from the poems um all throughout but seeing it a little bit larger is really nice so awesome puzzle if you like challenging puzzles this one is just a little bit more challenging than some of the others i've done um so yeah i would suggest checking this one out uh if you guys if, uh, liked this video please leave me a comment below if you are new to my channel uh please subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. And stick around to the end and check out one of my playlists. If you uh, haven't checked out any of my other puzzle videos, I've got quite a few of them up now um, if you enjoy puzzles. And I've got a lot of other stuff too, um, travel videos and reaction videos and a handful of things. But if you're here for the puzzles, I've got quite a few more to check out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.